Hello everyone, this is Yamono Murolo and today I'll be talking about the C6 Run project which aims to make it easier to develop for the DSP. I'd like to start by talking about why it's a good idea to develop for the DSP if you have one. Let's take the Beagle board for example. Considering its small size and low power usage, the platform is capable of some impressive things like being able to decode 720p video at 30 frames per second while utilizing something like only 10 to 15 percent of its main processor. This is made possible by its C64X Plus digital signal processor, so yes, the hardware is really quite powerful, but to be able to use this power we need software that utilizes the capabilities of the hardware and we need developers to develop such software, but unfortunately the entry barrier for DSP development isn't very low. Let's compare what a developer has to do to get started with DSP development versus GPP development to get the picture. To get started with DSP development, the developer has to obtain the GPP site toolchain, DSP link and its various numerous dependencies and then build DSP links. The developer then has to become familiar with various DSP link components and APIs by studying the examples and the documentation, since he or she first has to use these to write a GPP app which will bring up the DSP, load the code and communicate with the DSP side app, which is still yet to be written. Not to mention that unless one uses the Code Composer Studio, there won't be any console input and output for debugging purposes. Comparing these with the GPP side, for which you only need to set up the toolchain, write and build your code and run it, we can see that DSP side development is not only harder to get started with, but also harder to prototype ideas on, even when one has done it before. Of course, there are some things which can't be really made uh, trivial when it comes to DSP development, but it all, it all doesn't have to be so complicated. The code you write for the DSP is basically C code, and anyone who is able to write C code and wants to get started with DSP side development should be able to do so without having to learn about all that interprocessor communication stuff and DSP link components. This is what the C6 run project is for. Easier DSP side development and prototyping by offering you a single step compilation script that makes development look like what the user is used to on the GPP side, abstracting away the details of interprocessor communications by offering you GPP to DSP and DSP to GPP remote procedure calls and allowing the developer to take advantage of co the console input and output to be able to use familiar functions like printf and scanf. There are two components in this project called C6 Run App and C6 Run Lib. Let's start by taking a look at C6 Run App. This tool allows you to write your C code as you normally would for the GPP side, let's say a Hello World program. Then compile it with a special script called C6 Run App CC. This script is invoked in essentially the same way as GCC, and it actually produces an ARM executable, not a DSP executable as a result. But once you execute this ARM executable, it makes the code you provided run on the DSP. And you also have familiar old friends like printf scanf to assist you with the development and the debugging. For example, you can perform file input to obtain the, the data and pull it into the DSP, or use printf to print debug messages to the terminal. While it may sound like magic, the underlying principles are quite simple. Let's take a look at what happens behind the curtain when we run C6 run app. The compiler script first calls the TI code generation tools, that is the DSP side C compiler, to compile the sources you provided, and then links it against its own pre-built libraries which provide input and output replacements. These are needed since the DSP does not have access to the GPP side file system, so we have to write the console and file related requests via DSP link to the GPP side and perform them there. Then, the resulting DSP executable is embedded into the C6 run app ARM site server executable, which then becomes your final resulting executable. This ARM site executable, when run, initializes DSP link and the communications, extracts and starts running your DSP application, then services any input and output requests by the DSP, and then finally performs the teardown and cleanup when the DSP signals it's done. Now, let's talk a bit about C6 Run Lib, which is suitable for later stages of development where you have working DSP side code that you want to access from your GPP app. This tool essentially provides GPP to DSP remote procedure calls functionality.
You provide it with source files which contain your functions to be run on the DSP and it gives you an ARM side library which can be used to invoke these functions. Similar to what C6Run app does, it builds a DSP side library with the given source and then embeds this DSP library into an ARM library. The ARM library exports all the symbols for the function given in the sources and can be linked against like any other GPP side library. This library initially sets up the communications, loads the DSP with the DSP library image, and when you call one of the exported functions, it makes a request via the DSP link that causes the desired function to be executed with the given parameters on the DSP side. The result is then passed back to the library via DSP link and then to your application, so we essentially have GPP to DSP remote procedure calls. The final component I'll be talking about is DSP RPC POSIX, which constitutes my Google Summer of Code project. It's an addition on top of C6Run app, which provides the reverse of what C6Run lib does, that is, DSP to GPP remote procedure calls. Thus, you will be able to access any functionality offered by the GPP, which may you want to access from the DSP side, such as frame buffer access, network access, sound input and output, and access to other connected peripherals. Access to the GPP C standard library will also be provided as the existing C6 run app implementation uses the DSP RTS which does most of the processing on the DSP side. And things like printf string formatting aren't really suitable tasks for the DSP, so it may be a better idea to remotely call the implementations on the GPP side. It will also be possible to access user-defined functions, your own functions, via DSP to GPP remote procedure calls, similar to what C6 runlib provides. Finally, taking a look at the status of the development with these projects, I can tell you that C6Run app and C6Runlib are already quite functional, although the SPRPC POS6 isn't usable yet, just yet, but should be by one or two weeks, uh, that is by the beginning of July. So uh, you're quite welcome to visit the repository and get the sources and try these things out yourself. You can also watch the progress of DSPRPC POSIX and read my related posts in my little place in the blogosphere at maltanar.blogspot.com. So, uh, thank you very much for your time and attention, and I wish you all a very pleasant day.